Hi guys, I'm your girl Vicky and I'm Marissa and, and we, we are, are MV London, London Reviews. Reviews. <laughs> I think it's like my thing now to clap <laughs> every time. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We hope you've been enjoying our sit down videos. We just want to give you guys the tea, all the interesting information and to help you find these places that you probably wouldn't have known before. So today we are going to be recommending five Instagrammable restaurants that not only look good, but also the food tastes just as good. Don't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> that was so like, <laughs> Can you let us know in the comments though, if you want to see five, seven or ten whatever give us the number of recommendations you want to see because we're trying to play it out i don't know how many to recommend so the first that's really instagrammable is called dim bowl this is, is lw <gasps> our main light just went out hopefully the video is still okay but yeah okay back to what you were saying marissa gin bow law this is a rooftop restaurant um it is located in the city literally as soon as you walk in so you walk in and then you take the lift up it's stunning it's so nice in there they they it's a rooftop bar so they sell drinks they sell mocktails let me talk about the view so once you get into the bar honestly the view is amazing it's perfect for taking so many pictures it's yeah it's instagrammable but the bar but the bar itself is really spacious um, once you walk in you're just gonna want to take so many pictures anyway as soon as I walked in I got my phone out I was recording I would say the place is good for hosting events I would also say because it's so pretty there's so many spots you can actually take pictures like yeah. inside outside the view is of Oldgate isn't it because that's where mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. what hotel Dorset it? Dorset, Dorset hotel. hotel it's just so pretty yeah. and it's just a great place for drinks and then also like some nibbles on the side. Yeah, you can get some nibbles. So if you're looking for a really nice rooftop bar, then check out. Yeah, and you're looking for a place to take those pictures. Yeah. Jimbo Law. So the next Instagrammable place we recommend to check out is Delaware Terrace. Delaware Terrace is in the Bloomsbury Hotel and it's a modern European restaurant with an elegant floral terrace which if you know of the place is where everyone takes their pictures they do also have some where they call the cool room do you remember that yes so yeah okay. it's that pink no it's, it's coral, coral. <laughs> it's coral that's why it's called coral room <laughs> it's, coral. it's separate to delare terrace but the place where you see the floral like decoration and everything that is like basically on the side of the hotel. So Delaray Terrace serves all day dining and afternoon tea. We went for afternoon tea and we had some champagne. The staff were really nice. We were able to get a table by the really nice backdrop. And so when we shot our TikToks and reels, it just looked really nice um, with the flowers in the background and the tea, the scones. Um, it was really nice and I am a fan of afternoon tea. So if you are looking for like a brunch place or some girly catch up, yeah like with friends um definitely check out Delray terrace for me personally i can't imagine myself going there on a date could you no nah, not on a date i'd go there with for, with my girls yeah when girls. we went there we just felt like it's just a very like chilled girly catch-up yeah. kind of vibe rather than like an intimate date but don't but you can, guess, still, go yeah, yeah, that's what you can still go there on the date but um, for us, we were just like, this would be such a good place to just sit with the girls. Like afternoon tea in general, any place that does afternoon tea, I'm there. But I think if you're an afternoon tea connoisseur like me, you can really taste the quality in the sandwiches and the cakes and understand which ones are good and which oh, ones yeah. aren't so good. The, the sandwiches were nice. They banged. I like the, the salmon sandwich. Yeah. That was nice. And they even brought us like a few extra ones. What I love about afternoon tea is that when you're running low on a sandwich or cake, they just like, do you want some more? And I'm thinking, do you pay extra for that? But no. They keep topping you up. They will top you up until you're full. Uh, yeah. It's a bit like bottomless. Yeah. But let me bottomless not say that. <laughs> for Is afternoon tea. Bottomless afternoon tea. Basically, if you want more sandwiches or if you want extra something, that's what I love. I'll let you have. Yeah, and it's not just Dalloway Terrace. There's other afternoon tea places I've been where they do that and I love that. I think that's why I love afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they also do all day dining. We still are yet to go there for all day dining, but I did look at other people's plates and it looks really nice. So if you want to get that pretty picture with a really nice floor background, then we definitely recommend to check out Dallaro Towers or their really nice coral bar, their coral room bar, um, which has like a 
a vintage elegant style to it so the next place that is really instagrammable is elvet steakhouse this is in east london it's a halal restaurant they only serve non-alcoholic drinks but their drinks look so nice they literally have a section um, on their menu that says for the gram so if you want to order a drink it's for the gram because it will look good but yeah just bear in mind they serve non-alcoholic drinks um the drinks were nice i thought the food was decent i ordered lamb chops the lamb chops were nice they were seasoned well they were flavoursome um also so i like halloumi cheese even when i go nando's i always order um halloumi cheese so whenever i see halloumi on the menu i just have to get it they served halloumi cheese with homemade jam and it was just so nice what did you eat it with just that i just ate it on its own it was good have you tried that new nando's combo where people get oh, nando dirty chips. fries yeah that's oh my nando. god i need to try that i tried it i made a homemade one so basically you order like chicken breast chips and halloumi and jam yeah and then obviously the perinades and then you just put it together oh that sounds lush it was nice but what really annoyed me was because i ordered everything separate they didn't send me my halloumi oh uh, so you had everything apart from halloumi no, I had to call them. They had to send me new chips and they had to send halloumi. So I did. It's a small restaurant. It's not that big. They have a really nice floral section in the back. That's where everyone takes their pictures. Insert picture of Marissa here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually went for my birthday. My friend treated me for my birthday, which was nice. So you can go there for a special occasion for your birthday. The service was really nice. The next place is the Ivy Asia in St. Paul's. Many people have probably already been, but I just wanted to add to the list for those who haven't because this is definitely an Instagramable place you should check out. This place has mixed reviews though. I remember there was a time people were like, oh, this the food is rubbish. The, the food is rubbish. Oh, okay. The food is rubbish. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been, so I don't know. So I will go the for food, myself and The try food it. was nice. Who said that? Where they say daddy? Yeah, who said that? <laughs> Carry on, sorry. To be fair though, obviously, just because we recommend a restaurant it doesn't mean it will be the same experience for you and that's what i've found with a lot of places unfortunately you can't guarantee that it will just be a 10 out, 10 of, 10. out of 10 experience every time yeah because there's Which sometimes unfortunate but... yeah there's sometimes i've been somewhere and then i go again the second time and it's not as great as the first one yeah you could it could be a bad day for the chef it could be really busy so they're just rushing out the food so there's so many factors but the day that i went the ivy asia the food was good, the service was lovely. But Ivy Asia, they do Asian inspired dishes. I say inspired, cause you know why. Have a new branch in Chelsea. So check that one out as well. I actually haven't been to that one. I wonder if it looks the same. Does it? It does, it looks oh, the same. Oh, okay. It looks exactly the it's same. It's so pretty though. The moment you walk in, so you see, I guess the, the entryway, like it's just- The green floors. Yeah, when it first came out, I was so amazed because I just haven't seen anything like this. I think what I love now is a lot of restaurants are realizing that interior is important. So yeah, new yeah, restaurants- it attracts people. Yeah, yeah, so new restaurants are now- They're you know, going all out with their designs. Adding all their flower yeah. backgrounds and stuff. Which is great, we love it because yeah. why not? <laughs> the Ivy Asia is one that just stood out for me when I first went that year. 2019 so good so you've got the lavish interior you've got the panoramic views and the food is great so what more could you want also when i went they had dancers i don't know if they still do it but they actually had dancers oh live dancers yeah oh, like but they were dancing around the restaurant and there was just a lot of going on and music and even the toilets are really nice so you could take pictures in the toilets you could take pictures anywhere in that restaurant even like in the entryway it's definitely instagrammable so check it out so the last instagrammable <laughs> restaurant we recommend is coco chan coco chan is a pan asian restaurant and cocktail lounge bar coco chan is on saint james street so it's not far from selfridges and they've now got like an alfresco outdoor area which is nice for the sunny weather it's a small intimate restaurant we really enjoyed our time when we went you can watch it again um on our channel i think we've also got tiktok here are you gonna put it here yeah i'll put it here <laughs> You can see our time here at Coco Shan. Yeah. But yeah, I really liked it. I loved the food. The food was good. I really enjoyed the, the food. food. Oh we didn't God. even order enough, remember? Oh, we didn't yeah, order enough. Oh yeah, we didn't. What I love about Coco Shan, Marissa's the one who put me on, but it can be so easily overlooked when you walk past that street. But then once you go inside, you're just hit with neon lights, yeah. pink decorations. 
it's so pretty and they have a big massive white tree at the back yeah so that's the place where you'd want to sit to take your gorgeous pictures and that's where i got my picture right here of me i really liked it and if you've got the right lighting it can look really nice and they've got different sections as well with kind of different interior look They've also got, have they got a downstairs? Yeah, they have a downstairs as well. Also, it may look small, but there are loads of different seating areas. And that's yeah. what I really like about it. The food, for what it's worth, I would say the food is affordable. We had like some curries, some starters, sushi. sushi. It was all really delicious. Yeah. So, I'm so happy I like sushi now. Before I never used to like sushi and now I've come to the good side. Yeah. So, sushi is life. Sushi is delicious. Is there another cuisine that you want to try? that you kind of don't like at the moment? Ooh, I don't know yet. I think it was only sushi that I didn't oh. like. But apart from that, I like everything. I eat everything. Same, <laughs> I like everything. I eat everything. <laughs> but yeah, Coco Shan, definitely one to check out. Coco, <laughs> Coco Shan is also a great hangout place. So you don't have to dress up, but you can yeah. look cute. It's but chilled vibes. It's to a, say the vibe is chill. Yeah, it's a very yeah. chilled vibe, which I really like. Yeah. And the staff were friendly. The music that they had going on that night was good as well. I actually remember, remember. we were enjoying the music. He was even dancing. Oh, Jay. Yeah. 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 You be my firefly. Yeah, the music was popping. Okay. And that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. And um, we'll be back with many many more videos so let us know what you'd like to see next in the comment section below but yes don't forget to comment subscribe like and hit the notification bell share to care what but yeah make sure you like comment and subscribe and share but thanks for watching guys bye Oh, I thought my notes deleted. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, here comes the waffle. <laughs> oh, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm over it. Ah! <laughs> Why am I like this? Jin Bolo. Jin Bolo. Marissa, I was purposely speaking like that. Oh! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just tell the people, tell the people out there how you feel about sitting down and talking to the camera. No, it's fine. <laughs>